This is Melanoma Monday, when we focus on preventing potentially deadly skin cancer. Melanoma is the most serious form of skin cancer, killing more than 8,000 people a year in these United States. But the good news is it is treatable if you find it early. Dr. Elizabeth Hale is an associate professor of dermatology at NYU Langone and a senior vice president of the Skin Cancer Foundation. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, this is a very serious issue. Uh, and skin cancer is going up in men and people of color. Why might that be? So we're seeing increases in skin, in skin cancer in all Americans. It's thought that about one in five Americans will develop skin cancer by age 70. But we are seeing increases among all skin types, so people of skin of color, and also in men. We know that melanoma is most common in men, and they actually have the highest mortality rate. It's thought perhaps men aren't as good about wearing sunscreen, about seeing a dermatologist, and men often tend to get melanoma on their back, where it tends to be most deadly. Oh, so it's wow. a great idea to get familiar with your own moles, but also maybe have a partner take a look at your back as well. So uh, what should that partner be looking for? So when you do a self-exam or have someone in your life do an exam, what, what, what is important to notice? So anything new, changing, or unusual should be brought to your dermatologist's attention. But when we talk about moles, we talk about the A, B, C, D, E's. Okay. A is asymmetry. B is border irregularity. C is for color variability. D stood for diameter for a long time, but increasingly we talk about D for darkness because sometimes that mole is just so dark it stands out. And most importantly, E is evolving. So if a mole is changing, I take that very seriously and I evaluate it closely. Okay, all right, so how often should people, in addition to self-exams, be screened by a dermatologist? So we recommend that every American above age 18 gets an annual skin examination. The thing that's unique about skin cancer, it's so common, but it's also so preventable. Mm. We know that about 90% of skin cancers are associated with sun exposure. And also, skin cancer is almost always curable when it's caught early. So it's really important to protect ourselves to get checked because early detection is key. All right, so you mentioned that men may be getting it because they're not putting sunscreen on as much as they should be. Uh, what should people in general be looking for in a sunscreen? So we recommend a broad spectrum SPF 30 or higher. And it's important to think about sunscreen every single day. It's not just enough when going to the beach or pool because we know that sun damage is cumulative. We also look for broad spectrum ingredients like avobenzone, zinc oxide, and importantly, when you're outside, you want to reapply every two hours, even more if you're sweating or swimming. But getting people to wear it every day, I think, is the real, the real goal. All right. Uh, I, I check a few of those boxes on the men not applying it every day, you know, not getting checked as much as they should. But I'm going to take this as an opportunity to go ahead and get checked. Excellent. Thank you, Dr. I Hale. I appreciate will. it. Thanks for having me.